a lot and um, I just be needing my alone time to like recharge and think and just be alone I don't want to have to entertain nobody I don't want to talk I just be wanting to um, just be by myself and I needed that today um, I'm leaving Stir. It's a restaurant that I've been trying to come to, but I've just not had the time to, um, not even that I haven't had the time, but yeah, I haven't had the time. <laughs> I haven't had the time to come over here and, um, you know, check it out. But I came today, like I was literally just going to go home and go to sleep. Um, that's what I do when I'm sad or just in my head but I said you know what I'm gonna love on myself today I'm gonna do you know what I like to do which is eat <laughs> not just that but just like be in my own space and in my own company and just treat myself and just love on myself so that's what I did and um I so yeah I just left there I'm trying to find like I want to go to a cigar lounge but um, my phone is on 10% I don't think that'll be smart for me to go sit somewhere my phone is dying especially by myself so yeah I just want to come on here and tell you guys and also to be transparent with you guys like every day isn't good with me I know I look happy and you know joyous all the time but I have my days and this year I've had more my days more often than not um, just being like I don't know I'm not gonna call it depressed because I don't think it was that I could have been that deep but I've just been really emotional um, and I'm not e I'm not even gonna say it's all bad but you know, things that you plan, um, 
sometimes, you know, they don't. Let me see if I can prop y'all up. But some things that you plan, they may not um, come to fruition as you would like. But I'm learning to just like go with the flow and just trust God and just be okay with whatever the outcome is because I know that I'm a believer and I know that all things are working for my good. So it's important for me to like not stress and just be open to, you know, whatever God has for me. Uh, which brings me to this point. Um, wow, I didn't know I was going to tell y'all in this video, but <laughs> hold on, let me put on some lip gloss. Yeah. I feel like maybe I should get in my car, but it just feels so good. It feels so good out here. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys I'm not moving to Atlanta anymore. Um, I was instructed not to and I think that I'm gonna be obedient. <laughs> it's not that I think, I know I'm gonna be obedient to the man of God and see what else Charlotte has to offer me. There must be something here for me that I don't know, um, but um, I think it's important to just trust God in this season and um, walk with him and just release control um so yeah i'm not moving to atlanta this year although i y'all i still want to so bad but i was like a, a scripture comes to mind um shoot i don't even know if it's a scripture a scripture or a saying obedience is better than sacrifice i do believe that is a, a scripture but um yeah so i'm gonna stay in charlotte a little while longer and if you know, it's in the cards for me to move to Atlanta next year, then I'll be doing that. But for right now, I was instructed not to do so. So I'm going to be obedient. Um, so, yeah, and that's not why I'm in my head, because as soon as that word was spoken over me, it was I bet like I'm saying I ain't got to worry about all these moving charges or, um, you know, anything like that. Let me get in my car because I feel like that's what I need to do. So, um, yeah, I'm not moving. Oh, it's hot in here. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to move right now to a whole nother state. Um, I ain't going to lie. I did kind of like question like, Bro, is, you sure that's from God? Like, <laughs> you sure that's what he told you? But a few months ago, I did pray and was just like god just confirm if that's the right move for me to make and although it took like a couple of months um later you know that was that was what was said to me probably has it been two weeks now two weeks ago so yeah i'm currently in the process of looking for places now here at home and um i'm itching y'all sorry and it feels so good. Ooh. But yeah, I'm in the process of looking for places here. Um, I'm very excited to be out moving and living on my own again. I've missed my space, although I do love the security and, you know, coming home to my mom and sister. I do also miss just my alone time. When I tell you guys that I am a very... <sighs> How can I say it? Like, I just like being by, by myself. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, I feel like I'm more creative in that type of environment. Um, but then that also leaves like idle time uh, too, which. <sighs> Why is my leg itching so much? Um, but yeah, like I was saying, that does leave idle time too, which can be um, not good sometimes. But I mean, it is what it is. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway.
anyways i feel like i'm rambling um but i really just wanted to show you guys what today's been like for me and just to be open honest and transparent with you guys that you know trust the will of god for your life um it's okay to be something's in my eye now it's okay to be sad sometimes it's okay to be distant sometimes it's okay to take time for yourself um because no one knows what you're going through really really for real for real but you um and it's very important that we take the time just to love on ourselves the way we want to be loved i feel like that's very important for us to just um love ourselves that same way today i felt like i don't know it was just like a rush of emotions like i've emotionally been through so much this year and it's not i mean we're not even in the fifth month of the year yet but i feel like i've been through so much i've given so much and have not even had the same thing return to me and you know it can be hurtful and you can feel down about it but and you know sometimes i wish that i didn't have the kind of heart that i do <sighs> I ain't gonna lie, I cried earlier. I cried earlier, and I I felt like I needed to get that out. And this is why I'm also here. I needed something to cheer me up. But nah, like sometimes you just gotta love you, love you, love on yourself, and um, you know, people that are meant to be in your life they won't leave and the people that weren't meant to be in your life they can't stay so um yeah that that's what i have for today um i hope that this encourages someone who may be you know feeling the same type way um to just love on you um the best way you know how do what you like to do whether that's um going i don't know to a place that's quiet and meditating reading um coloring books whatever like what it could be whatever whatever you enjoy i feel like you should put that energy into that and you know keep doing it as much as you have to um to get you to a better space and i'm praying i'm praying for you all as well as for me that um just that God has his way and we all know that everything will work out for the good of those that love the Lord so and I know sometimes speaking for myself that it can be very um discouraging um because things aren't happening as they should or as fast as we think that they should but I'm here to you know just agree with you all that whatever's meant to happen will happen and it's going to be good like um the latter will be greater and i have to remind myself that all the time um so yeah that's all guys um that's all that's all these people are so loud but anyways i gotta pee again darn I just wanted to come on here and say that I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I will see you guys next time.